During the American Civil War, the states located near the Mason-Dixon line were termed border states, since they demarcated the North and the South. As such, they provided the battlefields for some of the bloodiest and fiercest fighting during the conflict. Today, these border states are still a battleground, but in a thankfully different way. Kentucky, Virginia, West Virginia, and Maryland provide the steel arteries for Norfolk Southern and CSX that link the North and the South. Although the hostilities ended long ago, Mother Nature set the stage for another battle, this time in the form of rugged mountains, gorges, and rivers. The railroads operating through these demanding regions were forced to construct numerous cuts, tunnels, and trestles in order to conquer this difficult terrain. Join us as we visit the trunk lines of CSX and Norfolk Southern through the border states. We begin our visit on the CSX former Louisville and Nashville. A northbound auto rack train heads through Lebanon Junction, Kentucky, which is about 30 miles south of Louisville. A historical marker describes Civil War activity near Lebanon Junction. Burnside, Kentucky contains what has to be the most famous and spectacular location on the entire rat hole. The imposing trestle over the Cumberland River has always been a signature landmark along the rat hole. This part of the Cumberland River forms the man-made Lake Cumberland, which is a very popular recreation area. A northbound slowly crosses the bridge and approaches the town of Somerset. As the train slows for a meet with a southbound, we glimpse the slide fences protecting the tracks on the north side of the bridge. southbound finally emerges. We see that it is an auto rack train with run through power off the Union Pacific. Even more extraordinary is the fact that the consist includes a Southern Pacific tunnel motor, still painted in the Kodachrome colors from the SP's ill-fated merger with the Santa Fe. This may possibly be the very last active Southern Pacific unit still painted in the Kodachrome colors. Amtrak's westbound Capital Limited arrives at Harper's Ferry 
after exiting the tunnel. This train is headed for Chicago.